Welcome to the Husky Highlight Show. I'm Lauren Lemieux. I'm Pete Treparinas. And I'm Jacob Thor. The Huskies pulled through with a dominating 52 to 13 victory over the Portland State Vikings today. And with a final score like that, we have plenty of highlights for you. The Huskies wasted no time in scoring their first touchdown against the Vikings. Sophomore running back Bishop Sankey scored from 15 yards out to put the Huskies on the board with 13-33 left to play in the first quarter. Travis Coons hit the extra point and the UW was up 7-0 right off the bat. Just two minutes later, this 20-yard pass from Keith Price to DeAndre Campbell made for another Washington touchdown and also gave redshirt sophomore Campbell the first touchdown of his UW career. But the Huskies didn't let up after putting 14 quick ones on the board. Travis Coons showed off his QB skills when he threw the ball 16 yards to safety Sean Parker with this pump fake at the end of the first quarter. The offensive ambush continued right into the second quarter. Kaysen Williams caught this three-yard touchdown pass from Price with 12-17 left on the clock to put the Huskies up 21-zip. But the offense weren't the only ones to score against PSU. With 10.45 left in the second quarter, the Huskies special teams added a touchdown when Trey Watson scooped up this blocked kick and ran it for a total of 79 yards to the end zone. Late in the second quarter, Austin Safarian Jenkins caught this 40-yard spiral from Price to put the dogs at the Portland State 26-yard line. And with 6.44 left to play in the half, ASJ grabbed this one in the end zone to bring the score to 35-0. The tenacious tight end had a total of 78 yards for the game. The defense also got in on the scoring action. With 6.27 left on the clock, Marcus Peters intercepted this pass and ran it 21 yards for Washington's sixth touchdown of the half, bringing the score to 42-0. Then, with only three seconds left in the half, Coons made this 41-yard field goal to lead the Huskies into halftime with a 45-point lead over the Vikings. In the second half, the Huskies subbed generously and fans saw a lot of play from second-string quarterback Derek Brown. However, Sark said this wasn't a great game to evaluate the quarterback's performance on. It's good to get in and get snaps and be in the huddle and have to understand the setting. And there's plenty of stuff for Derek to learn from. For us to take a delay a game there late in the game is inexcusable. Um, but, you know, it, it, so there is things to, to, to understand that, yeah, he, he got opportunities to play and he can learn from that. But to completely judge him on that performance probably isn't fair. Portland State managed to squeeze in two touchdowns in the second half, but the Huskies still came away with a dominating 52-13 win over the Vikings. All right, well, Pete, Bishop Sankey ran for over 100 yards today. Obviously, it was a personal best for him, but also how important is it that he can pull off a feat like that? Well, kind of by default, he's the feature back now with Jesse Callier being out for the year. So I think, you know, he's starting to embrace that role, and today against a softer Portland State opponent, he came out, and right from the get-go, he made sure that this was going to be a game he could remember. You know, he finds the end zone on the first possession that the Huskies had, and that just continued throughout the game. Not to mention, he did get some support from both Eric Wilson and Des and Petty. And with a battered offensive line like the Huskies have, it was good to see. Definitely. And let's talk a little bit about that guy behind the offensive line, Keith Price. He had a great game today. Pete, what do you have to say about him? Well, Keith was really efficient, and that's what Coach Sarkeesian touched on in the press conference after the game. You know, nothing too flashy. He was 14 of 19 for 181 yards, and he had three touchdown passes. So when you have a guy like Bishop Sankey playing the way he did, it makes it easier for Keith. He had solid games from both Kaysen Williams and Austin Safarian Jenkins. So when those guys are efficient, it really helps him out too. Absolutely. Efficient is definitely the perfect word to describe these Huskies today, but they have a bye week ahead of them and then a really rough schedule. Jacob, they start off playing the three top teams in the Pac-12. How do you think that's going to look for them in overall Pac-12 play? Well, Lauren, they needed this game in a bad way. They started off the season with kind of a tepid game against San Diego State, probably not what Husky fans were looking for. And then the LSU debacle, I mean, everyone knows that really put the team down in kind of a slump. But they got right today. They had a big blowout win. And now they can build off that going into the bye week. They've got two weeks to kind of feel good about themselves. And then a rough match with Stanford that could really set the tone for the rest of their season. They needed this win in a big way, and luckily they got it. All right. Well, that's all we have for you today on the Husky Highlight Show. We'll see you in a couple weeks when the Huskies take on Stanford right here at CenturyLink.